In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. I'm offering Mass this morning for the repose of the soul of Jimmy Nash. My brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, blessed Mary of the Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion, that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Islands, listen to me. Pay attention, remotest peoples. The Lord called me before I was born. From my mother's womb he pronounced my name. He made my mouth a sharp sword and hid me in the shadow of his hand. He made me into a sharpened arrow, and concealed me in his quiver. He said to me, You are my servant Israel, in whom I shall be glorified. While I was thinking, I have toiled in vain, I have exhausted myself for nothing. And all the while my cause was with the Lord, my reward with my God. I was honoured in the eyes of the Lord, my God was my strength. And now the Lord has spoken. He who formed me in the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob back to him, to gather Israel to him. It is not enough for you to be my servant, to restore the tribes of Jacob and bring back the survivors of Israel. I will make you the light of the nations, so that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. My lips will tell of your faith. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me, free me, pay heed to me and save me. Be a rock where I can take refuge, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Free me from the hand of the wicked. It is you, O Lord, who are my hope, my trust, O Lord, since my youth. On you I have leaned from my birth, from my mother's womb you have been my help. My lips will tell of your justice, and day by day of your help, though I can never tell it all. O God, you have taught me from my youth, and I proclaim your wonders still. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion as a meek lamb is led to the slaughter. Praise to you, O Christ, King of eternal glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. While at supper with his disciples, Jesus was troubled in spirit and declared, I tell you most solemnly, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, wondering which he meant. The disciple Jesus loved was reclining next to Jesus. Simon Peter signed to him and said, Ask who it is he means. So leaning back on Jesus' breast, he said, Who is it, Lord? 
It is the one, replied Jesus, to whom I give the piece of bread that I shall dip in the dish. He dipped the piece of bread and gave it to Judas, son of Simon Iscariot. At that instant, after Jesus, after, at that instant, after Judas had taken the bread, Satan entered him. Jesus then said, What you are going to do, do quickly. None of the others at table understood the reason he said this. Since Judas had charge of the common funds, some of them thought Jesus was telling him, buy what we need for the festival, or telling him to give something to the poor. As soon as Judas had taken the piece of bread, he went out. Night had fallen. When he had gone, Jesus said, Now has the Son of Man been glorified, and in him God has been glorified. If God has been glorified in him, God will in turn glorify him in himself, and will glorify him very soon. My little children, I shall not be with you much longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews where I am going, you cannot come. Simon Peter said, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now. You will follow me later. Peter said to him, Why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Lay down your life for me, answered Jesus. I tell you most solemnly, before the cock crows, you will have disowned me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look favourably, O Lord, we pray, on these offerings of your family, and to those you make partakers of these sacred gifts, grant a share in their fullness, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Alan our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your Apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. 
let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let's make an act of spiritual communion together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Nourished by your saving gifts, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you have fed us in the present aid, you may make us partakers of life eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. May your mercy, O God, cleanse the people that are subject to you from all seduction of former ways, and make them capable of new holiness, through Christ our Lord. 
And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and announce the Gospel of the Lord.